And what's going on everyone, Team Rival back, episode 3 of the Import Overviews. This is Berserk, Millennium of the Falcon for the PS2. You might have played the, uh, I think it's called Berserk Guts Rage or Guts something on uh, Dreamcast. This game is, they were both hack and slashes, but this game is, I think, definitely improved over the Dreamcast uh, Berserk game. And you'll see why when you actually see the gameplay. But, of course, this is a hack and slash, how else would you make a Berserk game? Berserk is an anime slash manga that, you know, has been around for a decent amount of time. It's 35 volumes long, I think, the uh, the manga is, and it's there's an anime that's 26 episodes long. This, the game happens after the anime ends, so I'm gonna avoid, like, the spoilers and stuff of what's going on right now. But, it's a pretty decent game. It's It can be a little bit repetitive. I really only recommend it if you're a Berserk fan, because otherwise you probably wouldn't care what's going on in the story and it's just a hack and slash that's all you do there's like a few puzzles but the puzzles pretty much consist of you going to an area and you'll take care of something and like it'll be like oh you have to fight a group of enemies and then an event will happen and you'll be able to proceed so that's not really a puzzle that's more of just a uh i like to call it roadblocks but the controls are pretty simple let me explain the layout of the screen first. Top left corner, you have that circle and then the bar on the right. The bar on the right is your health, I believe. Yes. No, your the, your bar on the right is not your health. The little circle in the middle, the blood that looks like blood, that's your health. And you see that there was that little, the, the mark of the, uh, the demons or whatever, that uh, if you've watched the anime, Guts has that everyone, they were branded, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to explain it, but they were branded with that mark. And when that mark appears, you can hit the uh, the triangle button, which is uh, also like your strong attack. And you'll do like a like an instant kill, like you do some fancy move and kill the guy in one hit. So that's that's extremely helpful. Some of these guys take an awful lot of hits. Square is just your your basic, you know, normal attack. You have some items and stuff. I'll explain that. But you have you'll activate uh, berserk mode, which is the bar on the right at the top. And then you'll be like enhanced power. See, I do it right here. Enhanced power, enhanced strength, enhanced speed. It, pretty much what you'd expect from a super mode. So we do that, you know, I'm doing that right now, keep it as much as is possible. It doesn't last for too long. And then you also have what I just did right here is you also have these companions that come with you and they have provide different powers. Like the one I just activated by hitting I think it was L2 and square. 
square, I think it was. And that freezes time. And now I, I can attack enemies or whatever. And this one, I think, is the fire guy, and he just does like a little area of effect fire damage. And then the, the other one is, on the bottom, that little fairy thing, that's probably the most useful thing in the whole entire game. It's uh, your only way of restoring health. I think I think there's like a few items here and there that that are just random drops that restore uh, health if I remember correctly. But that's like you you'll use that the whole entire game from when you get. It. And the girl on the top, I think she like increases your attack or something, or increases she increases some stat. I think it's attack or defense. So you have you'll have those people who can help you out, and the powers have to recharge, and you can upgrade them in between levels. I don't actually show me upgrading because the thing about this game is that I recorded about two hours worth of gameplay for this and I kinda had to cut it down because a majority of it was just me wandering around this cave just killing, 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 and killing. So I, I edited this and I put a uh, a boss battle in. You'll see the boss battle, it's coming. But. Alright, so the, the, the first clip is ending and we'll go to the next clip. And see, I use the fairy right here. And. I think level 1 fairy restores 30%, and level 2 fairy restores 50%. So, whatever. And I cut to this, and this is just uh, an arena thing where I had to survive for as long as possible. And you'll get to see me use some of the uh, actual items I have. There is like a, a grenade item, this like ca arm cannon, which if you've seen the anime you know he has the arm cannon, I just, I think I just used it, 100%, he has the arm cannon, there's a, a crossbow, sucks, and shurikens that you can throw, and those suck too. So the game, in all honesty, I only pay, paid 20 bucks for the game, I thought it was a steal, like I said, if you are a Berserk fan, this is, I'm only recommending it to people who can appreciate the game because otherwise a you're not going to know what's going on because there really isn't any sort of you know like a, you know when you get an anime game sometimes and they just create a story for that game and it doesn't relate to the anime in one way or another now this game is pretty much a direct cut there's a few characters that they introduce just for the sake of the game but for the most part it's all just you know cut cut and paste from the manga and so pretty much I just fight and you fight and you fight and you'll just keep fighting not a bad game I wouldn't call it a bad game it's definitely an improvement over the Dreamcast version as I had said but in terms of depth or replayability it's lacking a little bit you can unlock different weapons there's like a it's not like a boss rush mode well there is a boss rush mode but there's another mode, I think it's called, you gotta kill a hundred guys or something, which actually happened in the anime when Guts took down a hundred soldiers by himself, which was probably one of the most epic moments in the anime. Hands down, I think. So there's that mode and you'll unlock different weapons, but they pretty much all play the same, there's really no reason to unlock them. It's a fun game, I will play through it again. I When I unlocked the Berserker armor, it was... At the towards the, it's oh, of course towards the end of the game. Right now I'm just normal guts. I don't have the berserker armor. Again, I apologize for you know making these references to things. If you've never seen the show, you, this is probably going completely over your head. But I when I unlocked the berserker armor in this game, that was probably like the highlight. And it was a good it was a good moment. This game can be a little bit frustrating, just because a the maps are huge for some of these levels. There's only I think six levels. But they, some of them break down into like an A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 kind of thing. So, you know, you gotta go through part 1, part 2, part 3. And they make the map so huge. And enemies just always, there's never any sort of stopping of enemies. Enemies just keep coming and coming and they just keep coming. I know I keep doing this, but I need to stress that this game is a little bit repetitive. I person like I said, I don't mind it much just because I enjoy Berserk and like I said, how else are you gonna make a Berserk game? Are you gonna, you know, make mini games? Are you gonna give him puzzles to do? Hell no. You are giving him that sword and he is just gonna start ripping through. And it's okay, these parts and if it was just, you know, slash 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 and you just keep going, 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 slashing. 
I probably wouldn't have finished the game, but the saving grace, and it's coming up soon, you'll see, is the boss battles. The boss battles in this game are just pretty fucking epic. Every single one of them, for the most part. Of course, you know, there's ones that are easy, and you can beat them in about a minute, but there's some that you will fight them for, seriously, about 20 minutes. That's a majority of the time you spend in this game, just, you know, waiting for the next, trying to get to point A or point B from po from the opposite point, and you'll just be fighting guys, fighting guys, because you really want to upgrade your guys with experience and whatnot. Like I said, I don't show that, but you can upgrade different stats, like you can upgrade how fast you swing, how uh, much health you have, how long your the berserker mode lasts for, uh, how many items you have, and how, how long those powers last that I was using. And here we go. I really want to include this part. This is a fight that happens during the game. I'm not going to say when. I'm not going to say if it's a real fight or not. But this is Griffith, who is pretty much Guts' arch nemesis. I will not say why. I will just say that he was Guts was betrayed by Griffith. Everyone was betrayed by Griffith. Because Griffith was the leader of this uh, mercenary band called the uh, the Band of the Hawks. And Guts joined, not by choice, but he was forced to by Griffith. And so Griffith end up ends up betraying Guts. Guts gets pissed, and yeah, there you go. That's pretty much the anime. It's just Guts versus Griffith. And it's not like a shitty Naruto versus Sasuke relationship. It's an actual relationship that... I feel like has depth and meaning and he's kind of realistic unlike the Naruto vs. Sasuke bullshit. Like if you want to see friends fighting, just watch just watch Berserk, just read Berserk. If you want to, you know, the brothers, oh, well, we gotta save Sasuke. No, he's not trying to save Griffith, he's just trying to kill Griffith. And the boss battles are awesome, like I said. Not very difficult, game isn't very difficult. It's pretty beatable. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say on it. Uh, I don't know how many of you are watching at this point, but you definitely want to check out the next import overview. Because if you are an anime fan, a shonen fan specifically, you will love this. And I will mean you will love this. If you have not seen this before, I think your jaw will hit the ground and you will be like, why didn't they bring this over to America? And I'll explain it all next video. It'll come eventually. Everything will come. Just been, uh, finals are coming up this new week, and then I'll be off, so the videos will start coming out, got some reviews planned down the line, got an LP, I know, you guys don't give a shit about those, but I'm terrible with LPs, but I swear, we'll finish this one, I've been meaning to do this one for a while, you guys probably know what it is. And as you can see, this boss battle's pretty epic, so I think I'm gonna let this play out, it's only got like a minute or so, until the boss battle's over, you can see I'm kicking his ass, it's no joke. That's the kind of monster I am, just like Guts, man. If I was an anime character, I'd be Guts. Anyways, guys, this has been Team Rival. Hope you guys are enjoying the import overviews. Comment, rate, sub and subscribe. Give it a good old thumbs up. You know I would. And take it easy.